when implementing a mass flow or a pressure decay leak test in a production environment, there's one thing that will dominate above all else. It will be your greatest source of heartburn, and that's the management of temperature-related issues in the production environment. The key to understanding temperature is understanding the ideal gas law. If you understand the PV equals NRT formula and T being temperature in that formula, the first step towards managing temperature is understanding the influence. So if you understand the formula and you understand that temperature is a key element in that equation, you're, you're, in, you're moving towards a positive solution. There's also different ways that you can manage temperature with different algorithms that are utilized to minimize the influence of temperature. But most important, the most important thing that you can do is to manage your production process so that you minimize the influence of temperature as much as possible. An example would be you don't want to calibrate to a part at an ambient temperature and then be running parts consistently in production at an elevated temperature. That's a prescription for a lot of heartburn. So we want to design our manufacturing processes so we have a part that is as close to an ambient temperature as possible when we're testing the part. You want your calibration and your test parts to be as close as possible to minimize the influence of temperature. There are different sensor-based solutions, temperature compensation algorithms, other techniques that can manage the process, but the best way to manage the influence of temperature is to design your manufacturing process so you're minimizing its impact.